hello and welcome back to my youtube channel now my name is auto progress and in this youtube channel what i do is to give you tips on how you can make money whether online or offline now in today's video i taught how to make liquid soap yes i taught how to make liquid soap in today's video now there's a video i made on youtube where i talked about i taught how you can start six businesses that anyone can start whether a student a stay-at-home mom i talked about six businesses that anyone can start with less than ten thousand euro and i told you guys that i'm going to practicalize this i am going to practicalize this so that a lot of persons will be convinced that yes they can start businesses with less than ten thousand euro and i made this liquid soap today like i decided not to put my hand glove i'm done with making it i just made it today so i made this liquid soap today and the amount i spent to get this quantity is less than five thousand euro now we're not even talking about ten thousand euro here we're talking about less than five thousand euro to get this particular quantity and some of the ingredients are even remaining yes some of the things i bought are even remaining now these are some of the few quantities that are remaining from what i bought now these are some of the few quantities that are remaining a lot a lot of them are remaining now this means that you can actually use with less than five thousand you can even get something more than this yes you can get something more than this i'm going to be teaching you how you can do your calculations and how you can start your liquid soap business then apart from that when i started talking i talked about the fact that in a previous video i've talked about um, six businesses that you can start with less than ten thousand naira. This means I'm going to be dropping more videos like this. I'm going to be dropping a video on how to do detergent. I'm going to be dropping a video on how to do custard. Yes, I'm going to be dropping a video on how you can make custard. I'm going to be dropping a video on you can make peanut, chinchi, and a lot of things. Now, if you know you don't want to miss it, and if you know you want to encourage me to actually make more videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Turn on your notification bell so that you are not going to miss out on any video that I'm going to be dropping. So let's get right into how you can make a liquid soap like this. How you can make this quantity of liquid soap with less than 5,000 error. And of course, the first thing you need to do is to get your ingredients. Now, the ingredients that you are getting, the chemicals you are getting, you can get them from any, you can get your chemicals from any chemical shop just look for any chemical shop around you can get your ingredients from any chemical shop now after getting your ingredients there's something else you should get you should get a nose max because you are working with chemicals please get a nose max get a nose max it's very very important then get yourself angles get angles now the reason you are getting angles you are working with chemicals if some of them touch you, they can cause blisters on your skin. They can cause injury in your skin. They can burn you. So get yourself an glove while you are doing that. Get yourself an angle. Get yourself a chemical. Get yourself a bucket like this. And then get yourself a liquid, a, a wooden spatula. Yes, a wooden spatula like this. Get yourself a wooden spatula. And that's what you'll be using to turn your stuff. Because liquid soap actually requires you to turn and turn and turn and turn and turn and turn. Okay, now let's get right into how you can make liquid so i'm going to be listing all the ingredients i'm going to be explaining how to use all the ingredients so that you will know all the chemicals sorry so that you know the chemicals to buy and what not to buy now this is how thick my liquid soup is after production now to create our liquid soup i'm just going to be listing all the ingredients that we are going to need the first thing is soda ash we are going to be needing soda ash and this is how soda ash looks like the next on our list is caustic soda we are going to be needing caustic soda then we are also going to be needing this chemical called nitrosol now this is tessapon we are also going to be needing it this is what tessapon looks like this is stpp we are going to be needing it now this is sls the chemical actually looks like rice it looks like grain of rice you can even call it rice if you are confused on what to call it there it's called sls and it looks like grain of rice now this is sulfonic acid it's kind of brownish in color now this is called foam booster or you can even call it soap booster and finally we have our fragrance this is just to add scent to it is like perfume so you can choose any fragrance you like this one is like lemon fragrance this is the particular fragrance that i choose that i like 
and then lastly we have this this is glycerin now this particular production was for 10 liters of soap so the first thing you need to do is to remove two liters out of the 10 liters and divide that two liters into two put them in two different bowls just like you are seeing right now now to one of the bowls you are going to add you're going to add caustic soda you are going to add soda ash and you are going to add stpp you are going to add that after adding all these things you need to stir stir till everything dissolves and then when it dissolves put it aside now to the other one liter of water add sls after adding it just also stir it till it dissolves after stirring for some time just put it aside and then bring your big bowl of water that is the remaining eight liters now when you bring the big bowl the first thing you are going to do is to add nitro salt to the water add nitro salt to the water and then mix it then add sulfonic acid and tessapon and then mix everything thoroughly make sure it's dissolved please don't get tired of missing because it's very important that you turn these things very well so that all the ingredients or all the chemicals rather that you use will be dissolved okay now the next thing you are going to do remember those bowls that you missed before those two bowls we are going to be adding it to our mixture and turning it now i'm going to continue my turning till everything get dissolved now the next thing i'm going to add is my foam booster remember that yellow liquid that i told you people about the foam booster this is it i'm adding it now so i'm just going to skip this whole part where i'm adding it but just know i added it now after adding it what i did was to turn and turn and turn and turn then the next thing i did was to add my color yes i added my color now i forgot to add the color as part of the chemicals in the first part when i was listing the chemicals but the color is actually very important because it gives a beautiful appearance to your soap so you can get red yellow blue green there are lots of colors that you can get but personally i got blue now for your color all you just need to do is to mix it with little water mix it with little water and then pour it into your mixture next i'm going to go in with my perfume that's the scent for the soap you can get any fragrance that you want like any fragrance lemon orange name it you can get it from me i got lemon because i think i love the smell of lemon so i got lemon and this is actually a very very nice fragrance so i'm just going to keep turning it and then lastly i'm going to add glycerin to this now after adding glycerin i will stir for a bit i'm going to cover this soap and let it be here for at least let's say 24 hours or 48 hours so before i start using it i'm going to let it settle for 24 hours or 48 hours so that every ingredient every chemical that i added will settle well first before i start using it or turning it into cans if you know you enjoyed watching this video like this video drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel